Okay, friends, this is uh, Dan Kirsch here, Garfield Physical Education. Um, had a question uh, from a colleague on Twitter and some colleagues at uh, my school who are wondering how in the world to embed videos or what in the world is embedded code. Um, and for those of you who don't know what embedded code is, obviously it's a uh, code from which a video is hosted from one site, from website from a website where you can copy that that uh, code and you can embed it um, into another website. Um, so this is going to be kind of a quick little tutorial on uh, for those of you who may be used uh, have not used YouTube um, on how to embed your video if you create one and how you can embed it into a website. Well, for this tutorial, the the website I'm using is my is the blog that I use that share videos and activity resources. And the blog that I use is hosted by uh, EduBlogs, uh, EduBlogs.org. And you can see it right here. This is the uh, website. I've been using it for a while. It's very user-friendly. Um, and if you're used to Word, uh, WordPress, okay, yeah, it's very much similar to that. And uh, I'll have more information and links for other tutorials and stuff on this blog post as well. So first, um, you log into your uh, YouTube channel. Okay, so obviously I'm logged in under my name here. Um, and then it takes you to the dashboard here. Um, and then obviously you go to my channel. Okay, and then you search for a video that you have recorded or shared or stuff like that and that you've uh, put onto YouTube. So I go to my videos and I'm just gonna pick a random video here, okay? So let's say I, uh, I'm just gonna choose one that I've created here before just for the purposes of this demonstration. So I click on the video, to pause it here, okay? And then when you go down from YouTube, when you get go down from your video, you scroll all the way down here, and then there's this share option, okay? And then it gives you different ways of sharing your video in different uh, social media platforms. You can go from Pinterest, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, blog, Tumblr, etc., to LinkedIn, to StumbleUpon, all kinds of different resources, okay? But the, there's this little option here that's called embedded, okay? And you show more. This is the entire code that I highlight right here that hosts your video. So it shows you exactly, if you copy this entire code, this is what your video will look like on wherever you paste that code into your website or your blog, okay? And then obviously it gives you the choice of email, okay? And then... So, this, let's say I'm satisfied with uh, the way I want my video to, the way it looks. Uh, let me back up a little bit. You can even go show a video title if you would like. You can enable more privacy um, opportunities if you need that, etc. So, let's say I'm good to go. I highlight my entire code. I right click on it and I copy it. Now I've copied that entire code. Okay, and then you would go to your website and whatever website page you've got created, you would post that into that. So for instance, for me, being that I use uh, EduBlogs here for my website, okay, I would go to my dashboard here, I'm already logged into my dashboard. This is kind of the dashboard screen for the user. Okay, I go to posts, and let's say I'm gonna add a new blog post here on this video, okay? And, okay, and, that out of there. So we got, the name of this video was the Badland Speedway, so I will, Title it Badlands Speedway. Okay. 
And now in edgy blogs, you have different ways of pasting your code. You can obviously add media. Okay. In edgy blogs, you get an option here where it says insert embedded code. And you right click paste. And now here's the entire code that you just copied from down here. Okay. Now, if you get, if you're really good with, uh, different HTML code and things like that, you can obviously, uh, change the width of it. You can make it different sizes, the height, you can make it even bigger if you would want. Now, the only thing is you got to be aware of how wide your, um, screen is like, it's going to look different on a laptop versus a desktop, things like that. Okay. So I can insert it into the post that way. Okay. And now here's a video that I just embedded into this blog, which means it's embedded. Okay, it's not, a, it's kind of a link, but it's not. It's the, the code is embedded into your website or in this case, my blog. Okay. That's one way of doing it in edgy blogs or can undo that. Or if I would like, uh, if you're again, good with code, you can right click. They got the visual blog post or the text and you can just right click and paste it there as well okay and again it will just show up just like that so there's one of two ways if you use edublog or wordpress okay again that's just a quick tutorial on how to use embedded code again if you have other websites um other blogs you can embed that it would be no different than if you used twitter Embedded code. Let me open up Twitter here real quick. Okay, so for instance, let's say, um, here, this for, let's go to one of mine tweets here. So if, let's say I want a, we were doing a, a mural project, uh, a mural project at my school. Let's say I wanted to embed that tweet. If you click this arrow, you go down to embed tweet. Again, it gives you the HTML code that you can use. It gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Okay. Again, it gives you choices if you don't want to include the media. Okay. So I click that, copy it, and then I can go back to this pace or this post. Actually, let's change this embedded code tutorial. Makes more sense. So, okay, now I'm just going to return this, separate this out here a little bit with the horizontal line. Now, let's say I wanted to put in that code. Okay, I can go to my visual or to my text option and paste it in there. Okay, and now it is embedded into your post, into your post. Okay, and let's say I want to um, preview this. Okay. Let's scroll down here. I'm going to save this draft. And obviously a saved draft means that nobody else can see. It's just a draft. And let's say I want to preview it. Okay, embedded code tutorial. And there's the two code. This is what it would look like if I were to publish this post on how to use embedded code. Okay, it's HTML, things like that. So again, going back to YouTube. Okay. If you um, would like to use the embedded code, again, you have different options. You can make it different sizes, things like that. Custom size lets you do that. Um, main thing is for the video manager, obviously, if you're in the video manager, you have to be able to allow people to see the video. Okay. So if I was going to post this one, okay, I got to edit it. You have to make sure that your privacy options are set to where if you embed it, people are able to see it. Okay.
Because if you don't, then um, other people will, will not be able to see it for where it says public right here. If you put this as to private and you embed it into your post, into your blog or to your website, it would not show up. So you got to make sure that uh, you have that set to public or unlisted. So uh, Again, that's a quick little tutorial on how to use embedded code from uh, YouTube and paste it into a blog post. Um, if There will be more... Um, information on a post that I will share on my blog. Um, any questions, hit me up on Twitter. Thanks.